Well, good morning and God bless you, fellowship family. And to all of my friends that tune in, grace and peace be unto you this day, for this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. It's Wednesday, hump day, May 13th, 2020. And unbelievably, are we almost halfway through this month and close to being halfway through this year. Unbelievably, has this year just moved right along. But so much has happened since we rang in the new year 2020. Here we are in May and God has been faithful because we're still here. To that end, this is, of course, for all intent and purpose, our daily wellness check and our uh, morning meditation. Let me ask you, how are you doing? How did you sleep? Did you wake up this morning refreshed? Uh, have you thought about uh, your own self check? How are your mind, body and spirit? Um, have you assessed what you need today? Uh, to make it through another day. Hopefully you've done that and hopefully each morning you wake up, you take the time to uh, self-evaluate and, and really uh, think about your own wellness. I don't know what you need uh, in general, but I do know specifically you need God's word. And to that end, I wanna share with us our morning meditation. Our passage is a very familiar passage uh, to most Bible readers, David's Psalm, Psalm one verses one and two. Real quickly, I want to share that with you. I don't even need to read it. I can recite it because that is one of my favorites. David says, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. When you get a chance, read the entirety of the psalm because it's all powerful. Uh, but I wanted to, as the Lord gave me, uh, these two verses to reflect on and extract the thought just for some prayerful consideration. Uh, David says, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel or the ungodly or standeth in the way of sinners or sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And his law does he meditate day and night. The first thing that caught me is uh, the word blessed. That word blessed in the original Hebrew is an interesting word. It really means happy. Happy is the man um, that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Uh, happy. And deeper, what hit me is that of course in the English, the word happy is an adjective, but in biblical Hebrew, the word happy is actually a noun. It's not just a description of that man, um, but in the biblical Hebrew, it, it literally is the, a noun. That man is called happy because he is happy, it's not. Um, the description of who he is, it is who he is. Um, he's happy uh, not because of uh, his surroundings. In other words, uh, it's not the happenings around uh, the blessed man that makes him happy. Uh, it's what's going on on the inside. David says he's happy because his delight is in the law of the Lord the word of God uh, and in this law does he meditate which is another interesting Hebrew word meditate really uh, is the word murmur it's the picture of a cow going out to pasture early in the morning and chewing on some cud uh, and he chews the cud he swallows the cud he goes back um, uh, to um, the, the barn uh, and it's too hot in the middle of the day to eat again, but it's lunchtime. So instead of going out in the heat of the day, back to the pasture uh, to chew some more cud, he regurgitates the cud that he's already swallowed and chews it all over again. Um, that's what makes the believer happy. He's got so much word in him 
that no matter what negative happenings are going on around him, he's got enough in him uh, to regurgitate and uh, really murmur and contemplate uh, that keeps him in a state of happiness and defines who he is. Um, I stopped by to tell you uh, that David was on to something. Believers, you ought to chew on the word of God religiously, daily, and in just so much word that no matter what happens around you, you have enough within you to keep you at a place, not only of peace, but a place of praise. Because at the end of the day, you know our God, no matter what happens, is still worthy to be praised. Listen, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you and we say thank you. Thank you, God, uh, that you have given us uh, the bread of life, the word of God, that we can constantly uh, meditate and regurgitate and find some fulfilling that we can be spiritually uplifted in times of trouble. God, help us, all of us in this season to be able to continually stay in your word because it's, it's your word that's going to give us the strength to carry on. God bless your people now. Keep us again, as always, in the hollow of your hand. Take care of us, O oh God, and allow us to uh, meditate in your word and on your word day and night so that as David declares further on in this psalm, we can be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, bringing forth fruit in our season. In the strong name of Jesus, we bless you now, we thank you now, and all of God's people said amen. Listen, the Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, the Lord cause his face to shine on you and give you peace as you shelter in place and you shelter in peace. We'll see you next time.